We're not using common sense anymore. It's about pragmatism. Life is the Serengeti plane. Wear a cup. There's no load-bearing walls in that house of cards up on the hill. We're at a point right now where this country has to decide which way it's going to go. I don't have any pride about the authorship. It's just common sense what I'm pitching. Uma Abedin will leave Anthony Weiner when he changes his political affiliation, not a second before, because that she would deem ironically perverse. <laughs> uh, Chuck from Bowling Green, Kentucky. Like you, I am just accepting that this is the new way, the new America, where the bar is set very low. As I say, uh, last time I saw a bar set this low, I was at a dwarf's wake. <laughs> And everyone has to get a participation trophy. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think you're putting a pretty good spin on it. It's uh, Listen, I was thinking this morning, house ownership at an 18-year low, rents at an all-time high, part-time employment taking over from full-time employment. America has, in essence, gone back to college. It's an undergrad America. Huh? I'm, I'm going to start rolling out a line of cinder block furniture and bead curtains because I think that's the that's where the new American fortunes. It used to be an ingenuity. Now it's in how can you make hedged bets and lives more comfy. So um, the American dream now apparently in the hand of daydreamers, hands of daydreamers. I'm just accepting this is the new way. Blah, blah, blah. The liberal side of the equation has become so helpful that they have made a lot of population useless. Right? Detroit, do you think I'm going to be the only idiot still working until I'm 65? I wouldn't say you're an idiot. I just think you're Pavlov's dog, man. It's sweet in a way. And you have to have, you know, respect yourself on the inside. But if your self-respect is not predicated on working hard, I would encourage anybody to take advantage of all these benefits and get out of it. And, you know, people are going to say, how can you say that? It's the way it is now. And I hate to hear about people never seeing their kids working two jobs when idiots don't, don't even want to spend time with their kids because they see them too often because nobody's working. It just breaks your heart. So I do believe you have to take a breath and see that in the past you had to work six days a week to be the early bird that catches, uh, the, early bird that catches the worm. Now, I believe you can work five days a week and be the hardest worker. So don't push it out anymore. Keep it at five if you have to. I say you can go down to four and supplant between five and four with benefits that are attainable. And you have to think about that. Are you so industrious that you want to continue a five-day week, which now, in essence, becomes working harder than the rest of the country? Or do you want to drop back to three and see the kids more? Everybody makes their own choice on that. I'm not going to judge. But you don't have to go beyond working five to be the the guy is busting ass. And you might want to think about going down to four if you, because you know, it breaks my heart to hear guys at 40K a year working a job all the time, 60 hours a week, and somebody's at 38K not working. Uh, I'd edge that way. That's the new America 180. Uh, well, well, others have figured out the game, the system retired age 50. Well, I wouldn't say you're an idiot. I, I find you a uh, sympathetic person. You know, I, I don't scoff at it, but it's it's the old way. I would say that. It's not idiotic, but it's it's quaint, isn't it? <laughs> Enjoy these samples of the bathrobe sessions, a weekly video available only to members of the DMZ, the Dennis Miller Zone on DennisMillerRadio.com. <laughs>